Three Corners is just your average small town. Standing on the banks of a flood-prone river with a large pub anchoring the village at a once famous three-way intersection. Now it's simply convenient. As people chase the country dream, the country lifestyle, just not the unceasing agricultural workload. Population, 2,000. Ish. But like all small towns, scratch the surface and you'll be surprised at what you find underneath. In that sense, Three Corners is really no different to any other small town I know. Except perhaps for some of the characters you might meet. Flying. Sneaking past the blue bike in the laundry was the hardest. Everything was crammed in so tight, it was hard to manoeuvre. Or so he thought. But squeezing in between the two cars in the garage was harder. Trying to minimise space taken, not to touch either of the cars, a Silver Falcon sedan on one side, an old baby blue Cortina on the other. There it was. A small sniff, a slight breeze, cool, crisp, clear air. The taste of freedom so long craved and needed. A little bit further out from the garage, its door rusted open, the night was almost over. A perfect time then, the perfect time. No clink of metal, squeal of gears, as a weight was flung upon and he flew out into the dawn. The wind flowed through the bars, his pedals were pushed furiously and downhill he sped in utter and glorious freedom. Down the silent highway they flew, the bicycle and the cyclist. Into the rising sun they flung themselves with wild and reckless abandon. Not a soul stirred, except two pot of roos by the road's edge, looking fearfully at the whoop that was headed straight for them. Along the flat they chortled, pure joy as the sun dipped and rose, the night air cooling to dawn and warming while the birds started their early morning chorus. Soon, people would be up. The cows stared at the sight as they chewed tail swishing, curious at the spectacle, but only as it passed, forgotten once it had gone and not remarked upon it at all. Two days later, the bike was left anonymously at the police station with the note that it was found somewhere in three corners. Returned to its owner, it sat once again in the laundry, up against a blue bike, stationary, silent. Today's episode of Three Corners was produced by our maestro, Posty, and featured the spotlight tones of Jack. For more stories, head to talesfromthreecorners.com.au or subscribe to wherever you listen to your favourite podcasts.